Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of SpaceX Flight, where we unravel the mysteries and breakthroughs in the world of SpaceX and space exploration. I'm your host, and today we have an exciting topic on our hands, the strategic shift in SpaceX's launch sites from Cape Kennedy to Starbase. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on awesome space exploration updates. Now, let's get started. Is Starbase set to become the new epicenter for SpaceX's Starship launches, overshadowing the historic Cape Kennedy? Two years ago, Elon Musk hinted at Kennedy being the main operational launch site, but recent developments suggest otherwise. Stick around as we unravel the reasons behind SpaceX's dynamic plans and the fascinating journey from Cape Kennedy to Starbase. To understand this shift, we need to go back to the historical rivalry between Cape Kennedy and Starbase. Elon Musk's announcement two years ago laid out Kennedy as the primary launch site, but as we know, plans in the space industry are always subject to change. What caused SpaceX to reconsider its strategy? Let's explore. Over the past year, Starbase in Texas has been rapidly developing and catching everyone's attention. What's the significance of the second Mechazilla Tower being erected in Texas? Elon Musk confirmed this development on social media, adding, the next stage of the Starship program should be called the Two Towers. Not only Elon Musk but also Kathy Luders, the director of Starbase at SpaceX mentioned in a presentation earlier in December 2023 that the company plans to increase the pace of Starship launches from Texas rapidly she shared. Along with adding another pad out at the site we have our first pad obviously but looking at adding another pad because with the launch cadence we'd like to have getting that second pad ready was going to be another goal that we have for this year. This is indeed necessary as SpaceX has by far conducted the most successful launches in 2023 and in order to keep pace with Starship, as launch frequencies tend to increase every year. One of the most mind-blowing aspects of SpaceX's recent revelations is the production speed of Starship. Elon Musk dropped a bombshell, stating that SpaceX aims to produce up to 300 Starships per year. Yes, you heard that right. The closest comparable rocket to Starship, the SLS, requires parts from many different companies, all manufactured around the United States, then shipped all the way to Florida to be assembled, the best they can produce is one rocket, per year at an eye-watering $4 billion per launch, and Starship can produce an even better, reusable rocket every day. Starbase isn't just a launch site, it's envisioned as the gateway to Mars. We'll explore SpaceX's plans to turn Starbase into a hub capable of producing thousands of spaceships, by building their state-of-the-art factory, capable of churning out hundreds of colossal Mars colonizing machines. How do they do this? By attacking every part of the manufacturing process, simplifying, reducing costs and improving on existing designs, making Elon Musk's long-term goal of colonizing Mars within three decades closer to reality. After all, he made the EV, once out of reach and expensive, affordable for the average person, maybe he can do the same to spaceflight one day? Before we conclude, let's take a moment to appreciate SpaceX's remarkable journey. From the early challenges of Falcon 1 to the groundbreaking success of Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9, Elon Musk has revolutionized space travel. We'll reflect on SpaceX's resilience in overcoming financial and technical obstacles and how it positions them for future success. That wraps up today's deep dive into the evolving landscape of SpaceX's launch sites and the incredible developments at Starbase. What are your thoughts on SpaceX's strategic shift? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe for more SpaceX flight updates, so you don't miss another thrilling episode. Until then, keep looking up to the stars.